You know, over the past 24 hours, um, I've gotten a bit upset about events and various uh, portrayals. I remember what happened uh, about a month ago in um, North Ch uh, Charleston, South Carolina, in the words of uh, Dylan Roof. He said he wanted to start a race war, but he didn't, ex didn't succeed then. But now I believe there are a few major organizations that are attempting to do just that. And no, it's not the BLM, Black Lives Matter people. It's not the new Black Panthers. Surprisingly, it's not the KKK or George Duke or the John Burke Society. It's Fox News and to a lesser extent, CNN. I know some of you laughed when I said that, but uh, I'm going to show you a couple of clips and then I'm going to make my points. The first one is a video that was posted by an insanely angry, violent, racist white guy threatening black people, protesters, whichever you want to choose. Here goes the video. Okay, I want to talk to you about what happened in Harris County where this black thug went up and just executed a, a, a deputy because he was a white deputy because he was a law enforcement officer. It's going to end and it's going to end with that. That's not going to happen anymore. That's the end of it. Y'all have pushed us to the limit and we ain't going to take it no more. They stuff that us citizens can do and we're fixing to do them starting now. That black guy, he pulled the trigger on that cop, but he really ain't the one that actually killed the cop. The one that killed him was these Black Panthers and all these black thugs that comes to your town and marches and hollers oink oink, bang bang, and all that retarded shit, you know. They're the ones that's responsible for it. Them and people like, like old uh, uh, Farrakhan wanting, wanting 10,000 volunteers to track people down, cops and all that, and kill them. Starting now, we holding these people responsible. Like I said, it stops now. Don't ever let a Black Panther or any black group come to your town and march in that town and get done and be able to get in their vehicle and leave. That's over with. And law enforcement, I'm talking to you now. When we get there and we're going to be there, step aside. Do not try to stop us because our fight is not with you. It's for you. Now, I'm going to tell you old people, grandmas, grandpas, kids, all of you can get in on this. When there's a Black Panther group going to head to a town and they're going to rally and holler, kill cops, kill cops, law enforcement, you put it out and you let people know they're coming. And all you older people that wants to get involved, I got something for you. This is called a slang shot. You go to Walmart and you get it. Okay, when these Black Panthers come to your town to start with, they have to drive a vehicle. Well, that's where you start at. You disable them vehicles. You pepper their ass with, with rocks. You bust the windshields out. You stop them vehicles from running. When them Panthers has to walk and run out of town, they will not come back to your town. You people do that. Me, I will be there. If I have to be there by myself, I will, but I don't think I have to. All you guys like me that's able to stand up and fight, we're going to be there. As long as the law enforcement lets us know they're coming. And we're going to push them Panthers out of town. Never again will they stand in a street in Texas or anywhere else and holler, kill cops, kill cops. Them son of a bitches, their days are over with. And I'm not just talking today, I'm telling you, I'm going to be there. And all you other people want to get involved, get that damn slang shot. Nobody's ever went to jail for a slang shot. Y'all get that slang shot, get you some damn rocks, and when they come out in that street, y'all go, we'll give you a few minutes to pepper their ass. You light them up like they got mumps and measles when they go home with all the bumps and knots all over their asses. They won't come back. And what's left of them, myself and some other people, will take care of that. 
because we have had enough. There won't be another killing in Texas. I can promise you that. It might be a killing, but it won't be what you think. There won't be no more cops executed in the state of Texas. And like I said, you law enforcement officers, step the hell aside. Do not get in front of me. Do not try to stop any of us because we're doing this shit for you and for ourselves. What happened happened to the law enforcement and it also happened to us. And we're not going to take it anymore. We're done with it. It ends. It ends now and it ends in the state of Texas, you sons of bitches. You Black Panthers and you thugs, you uh, Black Lives Matter bullshit, you bunch of freaking retards, you better run and you better hide. Because we're looking at videos, we're pulling names and addresses, and we're going to hunt you sons of bitches down. Because we're pissed off. And ain't nobody going to stop us now, you dirty bastard. Last freaking thing some of you son of bitches are here is that noise right there when we come in your goddamn house. Don't ever threaten another cop in Texas. Don't ever threaten another white person. And you black bastards, you goddamn panthers and shit, try to come to another town and try to march. See what happens to you, because I ain't playing. And I'll tell you something else, I got a bunch of mail from Hempstead, Texas, where you want to rename a street, Sandra Bland Street. You know, that ain't happening. You people in Hempstead, don't let them put name your street after a freaking thug. We're not going to stoop that low. Sandra Bland had a, had a rap sheet a mile long. She was full of dope, disrespectful embarrassment to her, to, to Hempstead, Texas, and hung her damn self. Well, let me tell you something. A thug's life don't matter. We don't give a shit about you damn thugs. A black life, a white life, police life, a rebel life, a, 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 a redneck life, all our lives matter. Every life except for a freaking thug. Your life don't matter. And you sons of bitches, you fixing to find out how it don't matter. Because you done pissed us off, you bunch of bastards. Uh, uh, let's see. That okay, so now, you know, exactly where did that come from? I mean... Uh, looks like he's uh, advocating uh, killing people, but you know that's you know that's up to you and, and and how you receive it. But you know with all the rhetoric this guy's talking, I'm wondering you know really where he got it from. All right, so uh, you know kind of let's let's go see uh, what's pumping him up. Hours after Texas Deputy Darren Goforth was executed uh, in Texas. So what's going on in our country? Joining us right now to react is the executive director of Black Sphere, Kevin Jackson. Kevin, your reaction to Friday's events followed by Saturday's events? Well, the Friday events were tragic and uh, certainly a, a stain on the nation. Saturday is pretty much a uh, par for the course these days, Brian. Uh, if you recall, they, they had the same chant a while back when another officer was killed or and then of course we had the uh, the officer that got beat up on camera and they filmed him so it's the unfortunate thing is this is the black lives matter movement which uh, can only be described as nonsense is creating a lot of this type of thing around the country sure. and it's going to backfire quite honestly kevin why has the black lives movement of black lives matter movement not been classified yet as a hate group I mean, how much more has to go well, in this direction before someone actually labels it as such? Well, they should do it, but unfortunately it's being financed by the, uh, the leftist. And ironically, it's, it's people that have nothing, really no concern at all about black lives. Uh, people like George Soros, and of course it's, it, it's a trickle-down theory on the, trickle down, uh, on the left with this uh, going forward. But the, the sad part about it is the impact that it's going to have in the black community and the fact that it takes away so much thought about what really is the problem in the black community which is a lack of black whole black families and what it allows people to do is sort of say hey let's point the finger at everything but where it really needs to point uh, if we had more black families whole in, in the community we, we right. would have a lot less of this if we had clergy who were willing to support real issues and change in the black community we'd have a lot less of this and of course we've got the congressional black caucus who actually loves this type of strife well, it's very interesting. They interrupt. Okay, so anyway, um, 
That was uh, Hasselback, Elizabeth Hasselback. And it seems like uh, she was trying to push the narrative that uh, the killing of the uh, officer down in Houston was uh, due to Black Lives Matter. Now, the, the march that they had uh, took place 1,100 miles away from Houston, Texas. And they were marching for a specific reason. The reason they were marching was because of all of the uh, police brutality uh, that was taking place in the city of uh, Minneapolis. Minneapolis has been documented as one of the worst areas as far as uh, police brutality on black people. So they got out there and marched uh, approximately four hours. Now the surprising thing uh, about that particular march was there were also police officers that were marching and chanting the same slogan, but uh, they, uh, they didn't seem to want to point that particular part of it out. Okay, there are good cops out there, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, there are good cops out there. And, you know, those good cops, they can see the bullshit that's going on as well. And uh, there are more good cops out there that kind of want to stand up against it than you might imagine. So um, for us to say all cops are bad, no, that is absolutely not true. You know, there are a lot of cops that are, are from uh, just plain decent to pretty good. But the few that are out there are really making it uh, tough on, on the other uh, police officers. Now, uh, I'm showing you a, a clip from uh, Megyn Kelly's show where she had the uh, Texas sheriff uh, that was uh, the um, supervisor for the officer who, um, who lost his life. And in this clip, you're going to see uh, this particular sheriff take a very even view of the situation as far as the Black Lives Matter movement is concerned, and watch how Megyn Kelly tries to push him into something else. No, I don't. I, I think when you say... Oops, um, excuse me. Let me start this from the beginning. I'm sorry. Your time tonight. Let me ask you to respond to that message saying, you know, the rhetoric that they have been issuing in these Black Lives Matter marches uh, is basically appropriate to the situation as they believe that uh, police are on the hunt for young black men. Well, Megan, I think the um, rhetoric that they're listening to may not be the same we listen to. I think when you have a message where pigs in a blanket burn like bacon, you certainly have an issue that can influence people susceptible to that message. What is the evidence that it happened in this case? Well, obviously, there is no direct evidence, but absent any other logical conclusion, when there is no direct motive, there's no connection between the officer and the suspect, they've never crossed paths, then, you know, you're dr drawing conclusions. In New York City, we saw two cops executed uh, in, the, in the wake of the Ferguson situation, and, and the killer attributed it to the, the situation with Michael Brown, who we now know was killed while he was attacking a police officer. The morning before he killed those cops, he tweeted out, pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon. It's a reference to dead cops. And then we see that happen uh, in Minnesota the day after your deputy gets shot and killed. I mean, do you think that, that, that this argument, that rhetoric is really meaningless and we don't need to worry about it, holds water? No, I don't. I, I think when you say um, inflammatory things uh, that people take to heart, there are people that are susceptible enough to act on that. And that language should be held accountable. What's See, and that's where uh, she tried to push him into uh, making a causation between the Black Lives Matter uh, chanting pigs in a blanket, fry them like bacon, uh, to his situation down in, um, in Harris County. So again, there's, there's another white woman that's out there trying to push it. But I'm trying to... Uh, I'm trying to keep this uh, video short, so I'm going to jump to uh, the, uh, the the uh, next piece, which is uh, a clip from Sean Hannity, 
and you know Sean Hannity has got to be one of the biggest racists that uh, you ever want to see. Um, this guy, he takes every opportunity to uh, claim uh, uh, his points of view as far as race is concerned and uh, how uh, whites really aren't uh, uh, to fault here and it's all black problems and his famous fall black back line is black on black crime but uh, when somebody pushes him on the uh, white on white crime um, he you know constantly tries to turn it around so I'm going to sh uh, play uh, I'm not going to play the entire clip but I'm going to try to play um, a good portion of it in the back of the head after filling up his patrol car at a local gas station outside of Houston. Now, according to the police, the shooter named Shannon Miles may have targeted Deputy Goforth because he was wearing, quote, a police uniform. Now, this prompted the local Harris County Sheriff to slam the rhetoric surrounding the Black Lives Matter movement at a press conference over the weekend. Watch this. Our system of justice absolutely requires law enforcement be present to protect our community. So at any point when the rhetoric ramps up to the point where calculated, cold-blooded assassination of police officers happened, this rhetoric has gotten out of control. We've heard black lives matter, all lives matter. Well, cops' lives matter too. So why don't we just drop the qualifier and just say lives matter? Okay, now I really don't have uh, all that much of a problem. Actually, I don't have a problem with what he's saying here. All right, because at the point in time that he gave that press conference, uh, tensions and emotions were still running really, really high. Now, in the previous clip, he had calmed down and at that point did not want to uh, draw a line from the, the Black Lives uh, Matter movement to what happened to uh, his uh, officer down in Texas. Okay, so um, just another example uh, of uh, Fox News trying to, to drum stuff up. Now, in... As uh, in the aftermath, it's been discovered that the person who did kill that officer uh, had severe mental issues, not just some mental issues, severe mental issues, to the point that uh, the state had uh, committed him to a facility uh, in which he stayed approximately uh, four months. Um, they probably would have uh, charged him with the crime of uh, beating a person severely, but the uh, the victim, um, at the point where they wanted to bring uh, this guy back into court, uh, could not be located, so they had to uh, drop the charges and release this guy. But it was clear that this guy had severe mental issues. So, and at this point, the uh, the perpetrator of the murder has not uh, even spoken uh, to the uh, investigators as far as giving a reason why uh, he did what he did. So for anybody to try to draw any lines uh, to uh, the Black Lives Matter movement is basically just plain asinine until this guy opens up and, say, you know, and says something, and perhaps he never will. But for Fox to jump out there and to uh, uh, make the claim um, that uh, this uh, murder was caused by uh, the uh, Black Lives Matter people, and in John Clark's case, which I'm not even going to show him, um, he's blaming uh, the uh, Obama administration and various uh, other people. It, it's just plain ridiculous. Now, um, yesterday, there was a police officer uh, that was shot in Atlanta, and Fox immediately jumped in there trying to uh, uh, draw another line from the Black Lives Matter movement. As it turned out, the officer was shot, uh, but uh, he was shot because he entered, along with two other officers, the wrong home, and the homeowner, not knowing what was going on, pulled his weapon and, and fired, and at the same time, uh, other officers fired and hit the homeowner, and uh, the, that uh, attack on police, quote-unquote, was debunked the, this morning. Um, when it was uh, revealed exactly the terms. Now they have a new uh, officer being shot and killed in Chicago, and it won't surprise me if they try to draw an analogy to the Black Lives Matter movement. They've been looking for this guy uh, for the uh, better part of uh, eight hours already. So anyway, that's that's my take on this. And if uh, you know you have a different take, 
you know, be my guest. But in my opinion, Fox is trying to fan the flames, and, and they're the ones that are trying to advocate for violence and start a 